All right, hello, and welcome back to a new playthrough, as you can see on your on your screens. I'm going to play Ghost Trick Phantom Detector. It's quite a an old game, I guess. Uh, 2010. I'm pretty sure. I hope it's 2010. As I look down, as we look down, uh, Capcom 2020, uh, 2010. Um, Ghost Trick Fan Detective, it's by... Who is it? The director is the same guy who did the, the trilogy of Ace Attorney, right? And this was one of the games that came out a bit late, uh, later into the Nintendo DS line, I think, before, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but there's a few things I'm going to address first, because usually, um, the reason why I'm started playing this, it wasn't all, like, alpha whim, it's because I actually, well, this, this game's good. I don't remember much about it, but I do. Re I, I recently purchased this game in a bundle on eBay. It was wor well worth the price, I think. We got Flowers, Sun and Rain, and a uh, Phoenix Ride Justice for All. I feel like that's a uh, you know three game pack with Ghost Trick, Phantom Detective. So not bad, not bad. Um, so that's the first. Uh, this is one of the rare <laughs> occasions. Well, I actually own the game, and uh, obviously I don't have a DS capture card, so I'm emulating it. Uh, don't hurt me. But the second thing I'm going to address is that am I am I sound weird? Maybe post. I'm I'm switching things up because I want to sound the same. If that makes sense, I bought like a preamp uh, recently, and it kind of kind of was shy. Honestly, I didn't, it wasn't even a preamp, I bought another fucking audio interface with, you know, obviously with the preamp. And it was trash. It was the Go XLR, used for streaming, all that jazz. Maybe I might use it later, but I don't know. Um, but, obviously I, w I have another channel in the works, obviously. We'll start it up when I finish university. And so on and so forth. But, uh, yeah, I want to keep, a, you know, the same voice and I feel like I'm going to use this setting. I'm changing it up a bit. Um, from Audacity, I'm going to audition, Adobe Audition, don't tell me where I got it, because uh, you know me, if I'm emulating this, you know how I got uh, Adobe's, <laughs> Adobe's uh, audition and all the other stuff, but, uh, you know, I'll let you guys think how I got it. But, alright, let's get right into it, because I've rambled on a bit too much. Ghost Trink Fun Detective, by the guy, I forgot his name, Shu, I hope it's, should I, should I look it up? Nah, I, I know, I know it's the director from the Ace Attorney trilogy and maybe the, and the, and the, the other one, the newest Ace Attorney, the spin-offs, which is set in, um, I don't know, in the Victorian times, I think. I mean, it's got Sherlock Holmes in it, so yeah. But, alright, let's get right into it. Ghost Trick, it's gonna be a good ride. It's gonna be quite the puzzle, because, um, it is, I got stuck. At one point, and I never played it, so th this is why this is not a blind playthrough. Because I know what happens to few. Well, maybe it's like a you know fever dreamish, but let's get right into it. And secondly, I'm I, I did test this out, so we're gonna switch over here because I'm pretty sure we're gonna play like this throughout the bomb screen on top. Let's get right into it. Let's start new playthrough, chapter one. I must have been unconscious for a while. My head feels fuzzy, kind of like I'm swimming through darkness. When I came to, there was a woman standing there. A woman I don't know. At least, I don't think I know her. Then there was a man with a gun. I don't know him either. Well, probably not anyway. Now, I'm not the kind of guy who can just stand back and watch a poor woman get shot, but I have just one little problem. I'm already dead myself. Yep, that's me. This has got to be me, no question about that. After all, do you see any other dead bodies laying around here? Alright, so long, sister. So long, Felicia. I feel bad for her, sure, but what can I do? I'm dead. But just as I was thinking this. There's no time to be lolling around dead. I'm the only one. You're the one who can save her. Alright. 
All right, what the? The whole world just changed on me. All right. Welcome to the ghost world, the land of the dead. The voice in my head, who are you? No time for introductions now, you have to save her. I know you can do it. All you have to do is use your powers. Huh? Me? Save her? Uh, how? Take a look at your corpse. You see that blue frame? That's your soul. Me screwing up flame there? Cool. Do you see that? Bright white spot nearby? That's a car. Car? Hmm. Just like, uh, just looks like a railway crossing gate to me. Look, the best way to understand is just to try it. First of all, try touching your soul. Alright, here we go. We're touching our soul. And then with your finger, in this case my cursor, <laughs> uh, slide it across, like so. Congrats. Soul has now possessed the crossing gate. Alright, so now I'm the crossing gate. Uh -huh. Um, now, oh, yeah, never mind. Uh, now then, use the crossing gate and save the woman. What the how? Alright, in the moment, time will start to flow normally again. That'll be your chance. Listen, when the man pulls the trigger, the woman dies, right? They have to, before that happens, you have to use it, use your powers. Alright, wait a second, I still don't know what you're talking about. Eh heh. <laughs> You'll see, you see. Alright, now then, time will start to flow again. Alright. Okay, now's my chance. Oof. Alright, hold it. Well played. GG's. Alright, what just happened? That was one of your powers at work. A ghost trick. You mean I made that crossing gate move? You're right. You manipulated the object with the power of the dead. A ghost trick. And all you have to do is perform a trick like that. Uh, is to touch the trick. Now the woman's fate has changed. I'll beat. I'll be it. Sorry. Just a little. Alright, she, well, she still kind of has a gunpoint on her. Yeah, that's not good, isn't it? But at least now you start to figure out how to use your powers. So I enter the ghost world with uh, ghosts, possess an object, and then perform a trick, eh? Ghost trick, hey, hey, roll the credits, guys. Alright, so the next step, uh, probably possessing a different car. So we can't reach this one, unfortunately. The only neck, you know, logical is this. Uh, a guitar then, is it? Mm. Mm hmm. Hey, what do you want from me? I would prefer that giant wrecking ball uh, that would solve the problem real quick now then. But I guess I can't reach cores that are too far away. All right. Well, I guess we'll see what we can do with that guitar. Let's set the time in motion again and find out. Here we go. Let me try that again. So long, sister. Alright, touch the burn. Hold it. Alright, that's gotta yeah, be some of the slowest running away I've ever seen. But it looks like I'm gonna have to come up with something more. Alright, what's next? I'm on the ground. Let's see, what car is close enough to possess from here? I guess there is... All there is, is me. No time to be picky, I've got a woman to save. I like your attitude as admirable, truly, but... But what? Can manipulate objects, then I ought to be able to manipulate my own cards, right? Well, tell you what, why didn't you just try and see? Go ahead and possess your cards. Alright, now we set time in motion. Oh, damn, did I. Wait, 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 hold up, hold up. Hold up, I just. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Wait, wait, wait. wait. One of my hotkeys actually mutes the game. No way. No way, Jose. Let's see. Alright, it's actually the part. Uh oh. <laughs> uh. Um. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up, guys. Calm down. As I. I've done it again, sorry guys. What a fool am I. Alright. Okay. Alright, okay, okay, I got it. I've solved it. No, I <laughs> my Muki is, uh... My Muki is the pause for the emulator. Alright, I tricked myself and it doesn't work apparently.
Yeah, okay, nothing's happening. Exactly, sad but true, I'm afraid. You can only manipulate non-living things. Corpses, even if they aren't alive anymore, aren't really just ordinary things. You gotta be kidding. Wait, what about the woman? What's happened to her? Well, let's take a look. A look, shall we? Um, if you want to take a look around, slide the screen. It's easy, here, give it a try. Alright, I got it, I got it. Okay, I'm going, I'm going. So long, Felicia. Well, sister, this is it. Two things are looking pretty dim uh, right now. My eyesight and your future. Pepe hands, guys. Press F to pay respects. Out of my way. Um, just like kicks my body off. Feels bad, man. It's done. I'm on my way. In the end, it looks like her fate remains unchanged. So what good are these ghost tricks of mine? Just as I was thinking this. Oh shit, it's the Pixar thing. <laughs> Hello there, how are you feeling? Not very well, I imagine. A terrible tragedy will happen tonight. Oh, annoying me, are you? It's a little too early for you to be so sift and call, I say. Ah, so it was you. You were that voice in my head, right? Well, I wouldn't say voice exactly. The dead don't have voices, you see. It's more like my thoughts were being beamed directly into your mind. That's another little trick ghosts can do. It looks like my ghost tricks didn't do much good. It seemed like I didn't have a ghost of a chance. <laughs> Alright, she still <laughs> ended up just as dead as before. That's true for now. For now? I still have more to teach you about your powers of the dead, your ghost tricks. Who exactly are you anyway? Before I answer that, I think we should save this young lady. Isn't it a shame to see such a pretty young woman laying here, like a discarded piece of trash? But what can I do? She's already dead. Time for more ghost lessons for you, my friend. First of all, I'll have you possess me. Possess you, eh? Once you've done that, I'll tell you about another one of your powers. Why am I so determined to save this woman? After all, it's not like I know her. But I guess I'll take the desk lamp up on his invitation anyway. My reason is twofold. One, I'm not the type to leave women behind laying around this guy like trash. And number two, I don't have anything else to lose at this point. It's tricky time. Alright. Uh, touch. A flaw bowl you just thought. Uh, uh, <laughs> touch. Uh, those are your thoughts. What are you saying to yourself to, uh, in your head? My thoughts, eh? That the dead don't have voices. And what we think is communicate directly to one another. These thought bubbles are sort of a uh, stand in. I think I'm starting to get it. Is it director? I think it was writer. Look, I'm just making a mistake. I'm just remembering what I just said like 20 minutes ago. I think so too. Uh, just remember to always keep an eye out for thought bubbles. Okay, good idea. I just might get some important clues for them. Now then. In order to, uh, to possess me, you first have to enter the ghost world. Alright, click on the ghost. It's my ticket in. Uh, the best thing to do is try it. Alright, give a little touch. Little, little love tap. I'm here. If you're taking a look at the top screen, uh, but top screen, it means the bottom screen for now. Because <laughs> I switched it up. Um, what about it? It tells you what trick you can perform with the object you're currently possessing. 
the information is there uh, for you uh, to check it out whenever you need it. Alright, so in any- in, in the case of uh, this folding card, it looks like I can unfold it. And to perform a trick on the object you're possessing, you first have to return to the land of the living. Okay. Back. Well, good luck, I'm counting on you. Who's this we? Did you hear that, Zack? Alright, go back and then I trick it. There we go. Huh, that's funny. What is? The question marks. Oh, and I'm guessing a lovely lady down there. My corpse and her corpse. There's something different, uh, definitely something different about the two. There's something emanating, em emanating <laughs> from my corpse. What was that? All right, that's because you're special. Oh yeah, all right. I'm seeing, I'm seeing us. Yeah. What's that supposed to mean? Now everybody who dies gets special powers, you know. But those waves are because of my powers of the dead, eh? Anyway. Congratulations, you passed. Hey, we did it, guys. Time to end the playthrough. Hope you guys enjoy. Well, what do you know? What prize do I get? A new power? What else? Damn, all right. Another one. Now let's review. You can uh, possess objects and manipulate them, right? Now, what you do, uh, do you suppose? Wait, wait, now, what do you suppose will happen if you possess a corpse? Nothing, because I already tried that, remember? And nothing happened at all. True, you don't have the ability to manipulate a corpse. But there's more to it. However, there's something else you can do. Oh yeah, what's that? Why don't you try and see? Alright, trick time. What's this? Can you hear me? Wait a minute, what's going on here? Hmm. Looks like she's unconscious, poor thing. Unconscious? But she's dead. Yes, but think back, remember when you died? When you came to your senses, you've been unconscious too. Unconscious, eh? Come to think of it, the death lamp is right. When I came to, I was already dead. Let's leave her like this for now. And while she's resting, we can save her life. Oh, sure, you make it sound so easy. And it is easy. When you use your powers on a corpse, you can go back to the past to a time four minutes before your the, 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 yeah, and <laughs> that person's death. Are you serious? Back through time? Four minutes, not a lot. But there's a catch. It only works on new corpses. Uh, corpses that have been dead for less than one day. And she's still well within that limit. You might want to give it a try before it's too late. This is crazy, none of it makes any sense. Well, we're talking about the powers of the dead here. It doesn't have to make sense. Now then, let's go, shall we? To the time four minutes before this woman was murdered. Hey, wait a second. I still don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> You'll see. You'll see. Rewind time also. Uh, I had a compressor due to OBS. But I don't know, I think I think I edited in post. I don't know, that's why I took it off. But hey, who knows what's gonna happen, you know? <laughs> you know you know, this is all experimental. And so, I'm going back to the time to witness this woman's last four minutes alive. Not as fuzzy, distant memory of the past, but as a very real living present. Living, should I go living, go actual doing air quotes here. Four minutes. Alright, wake up, over there. <laughs> wake up, are you okay? What happened to you? Oh no, he's dead. He's dead, man. Oh no. Alright, who are you? Would you like to know, Felicia? He's my business card right here, sister. My little golden friend. You did this. You killed him, didn't you? Instead of playing whodunit right now, you ought to be more concerned about your own fate. Alright, who are you? Some sort of hitman? What do you want from me? They said we had to rub out all the last traces of Temps... Te Temps... Temsic? Tem Temsic? Left in the country? Temsic? What in the world is that? 
Beats me, I just do what I'm told. All I know you've got nowhere to run to. Time to die, sister. As long as that bad boy wrecking ball stays right up there where it belongs. Look, all I want to know is who are you? You don't know me and I don't know you. This is just business. Damn, golden shotgun, eh? Belong, sister. Oh, I did it. Big oof. Hold it. Damn. Wait, I didn't do that then. Alright. Another hold it. Shotgun, kind of flashy weapon for a hitman, didn't you think? Not flashy, just though. They call me nearsighted Jigo. <laughs> Jigo? I never let my prey get away. Never thought about uh, just buying a pair of glasses? Well, sister, this is it. Nearsighted. Yeah, he's nearsighted. He's, uh, two things are looking. Alright, here we go. He's saying two things. My eyesight and your future. And she's dead. So we get to see her die twice. Great. And then you have it, the last four minutes of her life. No. It's kind of ironic when you think about it. A woman toyed with by fate, and a man toyed with by a ghost. But she still died. Yes, and you can change that with your ghost tricks, just like you did four minutes ago. Possess and manipulate, eh? Ghosts and then trick. And then you can rewind the four minutes as many times as you like to. Now then, are you ready? Alright, let's do it. Power. Within. Alright, I'm dead. Oh, I'm... Oh, shit. So this is four minutes ago, eh? Fine, I get that. But why am I doing all the way down here? Yeah. That's just how it works. Her corpse was your gateway into the past, after all. So naturally, your starting point is where her corpse was. This is where she died? Okay, I get it now. Hop in, then. Hop in. Well, at least he's helping me. Alright, go in. Alright. Uh, can I, alright, no, he's, you know, or she, there's only four minutes left before she dies. Yeah, alright, better try and get there as fast as possible, there's no time to lose. Who are you? Oh, it started. Back against the fence. Time is passing, thanks. Last seconds of her life are counting down. Yeah, get there fast, man. Top screen, eh? On screen in this case. Alright, it's the timer. Before all the sand is gone. Up I go then. Alright. Alright. Go back, roll. Oh, here we go. A bit of technique. And skill. Open. Blender. It's clicking. Who are you? Some sort of hitman? What do you want from me? They say we have to... Alright, yeah, yeah, time skate. Okay, I've re we've read this. But, wait, 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 is, is this happening already? The time's running out. Alright, I have to get there. I've got to get there quick. Close, I guess. Alright, blender. Turn on. That's not helping. But, I think we could roll again. Maybe? Nope, I'm rolling back. Can I reach this? Oh no, I can reach it. Alright, hold up. I think I know how this works, fan. Alright, it's gonna go to the... Yep. It's taking me up. I've got you. So long, sister. Just a few more steps. I hope I can make it in time. Alright, time is passing. I've made it? Question mark? No, I haven't. It's just a. It's a, a one. Okay. Oh no! No, it happened. All right, right, right. So my actions from before happened. All right. Okay, it's time to change fate. There's not much time left. It's coming down to the battle of seconds. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, dude. Jesus Christ. Pedal. Ring these bad boys. Never mind. Trick. Alright, damn it. What's going on here? Nearsai Jigo never misses, as long as the target is within point blank range. 
It looks like you made it. I'm just barely. Yep, she's still alive. Uh, and in that split second, hope was born. Just now, her fate was changed, albeit ever so slightly. Her right, fate changed a bit. Where she's going, she's running. Oh, she's about to fall. The save. All right, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Bridge is up. All right, it's trick time, and the man's coming closer. Um, I think I know what I must do. I think. Then, there's a few things here, like the lower. Is the thing above him? Uh, go try it. All right, it's moving heads. You hear something? All right. What if I extend? All right, we're getting, we're moving upwards. Street light. All right, the claw. Here we go. How does it feel to save a lady's life? So, the danger is gone? Yeah, it looks like the danger... Mr. Danger, in fact, rolled away somewhere. Use your powers to avert that woman's fate. So I did all that, huh? You most certainly did. I knew you could do it. The fate has been averted, guys. So I lost my life tonight, and saved somebody else's life. When it came back to the present, it was raining. I saved the life of this stranger now sitting fallenly, forlornly, in the rain. Even as the story of my life on this planet comes to an end. True, a bit of the, you know. Always wear your hood, guys. Stranger, that word strikes a card, and a terrible truth begins to dawn on me. I can't recall a thing. Who am I? What is this place? And most important of all, why I am dead. Yeah, why was I killed? Your story isn't over yet. Who exactly are you, anyway? Just call me Ray. As in, ray of light in the darkness. <laughs> ray, huh? Your aunt's going to tell me your real name, I take it. You haven't told me your name yet, either, actually. I can't remember. Yeah, I guess the memories of the newly departed tend to get a bit confused. Some of us get our memories back, others never do. If you ask me, does it really matter? After all, there's only one path left to the dead. That is, to disappear. Disappear? When the sun rises in the morning, I'm afraid you're going to cease to exist. What? Tomorrow morning? Wait a minute, these powers of the dead. Yes? I'd like to use them to save somebody else's life. And whose life might that be? You even have to ask? Mine, of course. Oh, I see. But think about it this way. If we could use Ghost Trick to save ourselves, wouldn't I have tried to save myself as well? I mean, look at me, I'm a desk line. Why a desk lamp, anyway? I'm not really sure myself, to be honest. But in any case, we are unable to use our powers on our own corpses. You're kidding. It only exists in this world until tomorrow morning. I'm afraid that fact can't be changed. But there really is no escaping my own death. In the morning, I'm going to cease to exist. I find there's nothing I can do to change that. But just the same, I still want to know. I want to know my story, the lost story of my fate, right up until the time of my death, and until I learn that. 
you won't be able to rest in peace, right? Very well, I understand how you feel. You want to go and learn about the truth about your death. The truth about your death. As well as you should. I will, but let's see. How shall I go about doing that, I wonder? I can't even imagine what the first step would be. First step, that's easy. You start with her. And she sneezes. The person who witnessed your death. You should have some important clues, don't you think? Hey, you're right. And not only that. She might even know who I am. Yes, I say there's a very good possibility about that. What was I doing here tonight in a place like this? That woman probably knows the answer. That's right, never forget that. She's the key to everything tonight. Key to everything? What do you mean? You know, soon enough, when you regain your memory. Yeah, I'm like a blank sheet of paper right now. How, did, how does this guy know if it, my memories will serve that? Huh? <laughs> Ray, Ray's acting a bit suspicious, you know? I should probably keep some kind of record of any, everything I learned tonight. That's a very good idea, here's the save. Alright, I <laughs> didn't record. Damn. Okay, memories aren't always memorable things, after all. Damn. After all. After all? Alright then. I wish you good luck. Alright. Uh, can we save? Is this the save? It is. What is it? Redhead target. Be the mystery. Hunter in the dark. Ray of light. Yeah, we could save. Yes, please. Alright, pedal I guess. Alright, doing the bomb side. Um, Jimmy, here we go. Nice, nice, nice. Should we touch the thorn? Is it got anything on him? Then I'll let out my side. Besides, I'm not the kind of guy who could just let a woman sit it sneezing in the cold rain. I think I've tried to move closer. Yep, umbrella. Out of nowhere. What in the world just happened? The crane moved all by itself, and then that big iron ball fell all by itself. It started raining all by itself, and then an umbrella came down all by itself. Gasp, la gasp. Oh my goodness. Don't tell me I have psychonetic powers. No, not quite. Oh, I'm getting carried by the umbrella. Yeah, is there a call coming? Who knows? I think it is. black cat with a red bandana, a banaclava. Banaclava? Is that how you say it? Is it? <laughs> bandana, a banaclava. Alright, what's going on? Seriously, what in the world just happened? Oh, here we go. What is this? Um... Can I examine it? I could examine it. Some kind of node. Did I write this node? Maybe I should give it a read. You don't remember writing it, eh? No, I don't remember writing it, but even more importantly. It is. Big phone call. Alright. I didn't get a chance to read that node. Not to interrupt your train of thought, but I wonder if you realize where this telephone call is coming from? Huh? How would I know that? Think back. Before you helped her avert her fate, didn't a phone call come in about round with it there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Who's behind the call? It's done. Yep, I'm on my way, boss. Yeah, that telephone call. Alright, come on, let's go. I don't need to know the story. The culprit. What, nanny? 
I recommend you possess the telephone. Come on, get my ass, quickly! Alright, ghosts. The co- the- bleh. And then I saw him. Right there, on the other end of the line, I saw the face of the man who ordered me dead. Who's it? Is it done? Speak up, man, did you get her? Who is this? Uh, yes, a thousand pounds, my dear lady. I must have dialed the wrong number. <laughs> like, oh, shit. <laughs> she had ordered pizza. Trace complete. So that's him, eh? The man who stole my life? That's right, so what do you think? Would you like to go see him? You better believe I would. You better believe it. And would you do well to listen to me? We ghosts exist by possessing inanimate objects, however. There is one way we can move from place to place over a great distance. That would be... The dead can jump from point A to point B by moving over telephone lines. Or oh, phone lines. They won? I've done all I can do to help you. You have to do the rest yourself. You're not coming with me? I'm afraid not. Our powers have grown weak. I already used up most of my remaining strength just to get here tonight. But I had to come to ask for your help. My help? Yeah, you know, Ray's an interesting character. He did say, you know, souls die out under a day, right? Or like tomorrow morning, right? How oh, is he still alive? Question mark. Did he die recently? Who knows? A lot of mysteries are happening. I'm trusting you in you. Maybe raise us. Who knows? And find out the truth. I don't know the ending. I'm the only one who can find out. Let's go. Alright, I'm grateful. But uh, to you for everything. Uh, you've done, but I can't promise that help. Tomorrow morning, I cease to exist. That doesn't mean, uh, it doesn't give me a whole lot of time. I need to pursue my own mystery, find out the truth about myself. That's more than enough. Huh? If you succeed in doing that, you have done what I've asked you anyway. The two are one and the same. One and the same? Hmm. Death Slam knows a whole lot more than he's telling me. Now then. From the call a moment ago, you ha- Alright. <laughs> Up his phone number. Let's let's just go there. Oh, I got a new phone number. Sis one seven two nine. Let's go. And what a cool uh, transition. And so the story of the search for myself begins. A story that will last one night only. Tomorrow morning, I will cease to exist. I was surprisingly okay with this fact. I have to find the answers before the sun comes up. Why was I killed? What exactly is going to happen in this town tonight? Uh, yes please, I guess. Alright, onwards. 7.30. It's been 30 minutes? Who am I? Why was I killed? The one who was sure to know the answers to answer the, uh, to those questions is the man who ordered my murder. Uh, at the other end of the phone line is the very man who killed me. Who had me killed. Our meeting is it's also sudden. I'm not sure what uh, really prepared for what's go uh, I'm really... Uh, yeah, yeah, that... <laughs> that. Alright, hmm, yes. If what I re 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 Hold up, hold up. Let me just... Alright, if what I've read in this file is true, this woman could be quite a bedeviling bit of trouble for us. She needs to be erased. Tonight. Confound that nearsighted Jigo. His skills are as feeble as his eyesight. Not to worry, sir. I have already taken the next step, sir. Here we go, bro. Another damage slap there, shit. <laughs> the next uh, assassin. Hmm, yes, but I say the last thing I expect was to talk to the target herself. Even if it was over the. only over the phone. Uh, for there. I must admit, my good man. You put me in quite the tizzy there for a moment. <laughs> Where is this place? These oddly luxurious furnishings. It's oddly refined music. That old machine. I've never seen a room like this before. 
But one thing's for sure, these people are ass ass in <laughs> assassins. Alright, that red-haired woman is another of their targets. A file the old man has. Maybe it'll give me some information on my redhead. Alright. It's Triku time. Let's read. Seems the file contains information about that redhead. I can't read it when it's closed. Oh boy. Oh. Wait, Scott, did you see that? The file, I say. The file reared up and snapped at me, my good man. Nearly bit my head off. Not to worry, sir. I've already seen to it that the target, Miss Lin. Lin? Is no uh, longer a threat, sir. I, ho I hope her name's Lin. <laughs> Lin, eh? Uh, that's her name, is it? This file? It's like it's written in a foreign language. I can't read it at all. May I suggest putting away the file and relaxing, sir? have a very important job ahead of you tonight, sir. Oh, here we go. Let's see the thoughts. Darn. This is a pickle. The phone I got... Uh, wait, the phone and I got put away neatly. The only thing I've learned is the name Lin. It sure is a weird room. I'll travel through the phone line to get here. But where exactly is here? And who exactly are these people? I don't know. I actually don't know. So we've got the lamp. Projector? Let's see if we can operate that. Egad, man. Are you trying to give me a case of the vapors? My apologies, sir, but I did not touch it, sir. It appears the equipment is still malfunctioning, sir. Bah, granted. Technology is certainly a convenient thing. But our use of it is just plain off. Confounded. Hmm, yes, in any case. I don't wish to see the face of our current target, my good man. As you wish, sir. In that case, might I suggest this, sir? Oh, it's me. Who am I? Hey, that's... Ah, yeah. Sissel. Sissel? <laughs> all goes well with our deal tonight. We will have the power to change the world, sir. Hmm, yes. Yeah, so it's a very good night indeed, my good man. We can't afford to make mistakes. And that is why we can't afford to trust our Sissel. Now, we must be very careful. What, do you think I'm alive or something? How do I even die? That's the million dollar question. Sissel. That must be my name. Now I hear it. It does sound familiar. Deal, eh? What could that be all about? Just what exactly was I up to, I wonder? Sissel. We're completely prepared for tonight, sir. Alright, alright, alright. Hmm, yes, now all we have to do is pluck the fruit of success. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. One thing is clear, these villains seem to know me. And another thing, these seems to be some... Uh, there seem to be some sort of connection between uh, me and this Lin. Why else would our names both come up here like this? Alright, time to go... S Uh, can't reach much, actually. Uh, can I do this again? Let's see. There we go. Where's your head, man? I told you I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No malfunction. Then get it fixed, unless you want to see me malfunction. Here we go. 200 IQ play. I wonder, I remember where I got stuck, and I hope I can solve it now. Alright, what kind of connection do we have with each other? Okay, fruit, can I reach the... Oh, here we go, the control panel. Oh. Oh, the phone is up. The miserable state of affairs when I can't 
even be styled by a telephone that doesn't even ring. Egad. Egad, man. It's either more pathetic to be styled by the same telephone twice. Bah. The problem must be solved, sir. This Miss Lynn problem, sir. What? Lynn? Hmm, yes. You didn't mention taking the next step a moment ago, did you, knew, my good man? Yes, sir. I sent one step ahead Tango to her family, sir. Uh oh. That telephone call must be him reporting in. Very good, very good. To a apartment. Then is in danger again. They go fast. Alright, here we go. The phone call. This is one step ahead, Tengo. I'm on the, I'm at the target's apartment now. And out with it, man. Have you taken care of her? No, she isn't back yet. What? It only stands to reason. If the target got here first, they wouldn't call me one step ahead now, would they? <laughs> I don't get him, but in any case, man, once you've taken care of her, then you'll promote me to the head of the Hitman division. Ah, no, man. Now you're getting one step ahead of me. We can discuss my new salary later. Great Scott. Now you're even getting one step ahead of your last one step ahead. I'll get back to my job now, sir. You found it. Even hanging up one step ahead. Damn, he's too good. <laughs> he's too good. He's one step ahead. All right. Luxurious palette, Lynn's apartment. Here we go. A phone number. We got her. We got her number, guys. One step ahead. <laughs> he asked me to raise his salary. And would we? You yeah, would be there. I'll give him some of nearsighted Jigo's pay. Well, Lynn, can't lose her. She's my only lead. If I ever hope to solve the mystery of me, I got a ghost. All right. Do I dial? Yep. Here we go. Lynn's apartment. Onwards. Onwards and onwards. Got this. 